there's absolutely no way that you know he's only one of four players in the NHL who has Mexican heritage. Well, you're going to be learning those things and a couple of others that make me question why he decided to be a hockey player. But before all that, let's just start out with how Matthews first got involved in hockey. Number 1. While growing up in Scottsdale, Arizona, Matthews found his love of the game from attending Phoenix slash Arizona Coyote games. And his favorite player from the Coyotes was iconic Shane Doan. Now an executive with Matthews and the Maple Leafs, Doan played his entire 21 season career with the Yotes franchise beginning when they were in Winnipeg and the team then moved to Phoenix in 1996. So if you think about it, the only star player that the Yotes ever had in their franchise actually belonged to another city before them. Matthews got his love and passion for hockey from watching Doan play. At 6 foot 1 and 220 pounds, Doan was a big center just like Matthews is now, at 6 foot 3 and 208 pounds. Number 2 You can thank NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman for Matthews' involvement in hockey, and that's because it was Bettman's vision of expanding the NHL and hockey as a sport really into the non-traditional areas of the west and south parts of the United States. Matthews first attended a Coyotes game at the age of two during the 1999 season with his father and uncle, and he only started playing hockey when he was six years old, which is already pretty late compared to most NHL players, but compared to any other star, like that is just insane. Number three. From the beginning, modern technology played a big part in the development of Matthews' skills. In his early years as a player, Matthews spent a lot of time in the Phoenix area facility that featured synthetic ice, which must have been pretty handy in the desert. And the surface was actually smaller than the traditional 200 feet long by 85 feet wide North American ice surface. But because of that, three on three games were played on that ice. But for youth players from 6 to 8 years old, studies have actually shown that playing 3-on-3 three -three hockey in small areas of ice surface rapidly develops their puck skills such as stick handling, passing, and shooting because the kids actually touch and handle the puck far more than they would in the traditional 5-on-5 five -five hockey games. Number 4 the proof of that skill development came a few years later in the 2012 season. As a 15 year old, he played for the 16 and under Arizona Bobcats Triple A team. And Matthews had 55 goals and 100 points in 45 games. This performance got the attention of the elite junior development people of USA Hockey and pretty much paved the way for Matthews to be selected for the national team development program in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Number 5 Matthews played at the National Development Team Program for two seasons, 2013 and 2014, playing for the junior team that completed the United States Hockey League and the under-17 and under-18 teams. He had 34 goals and 70 points in 64 games in 2013, and then 75 goals and 90 assists for 165 points in 84 games in 2014. Matthews also broke a scoring record that had been set by none other than Patrick Kane. It was during Matthews' time at the NTDP when it was recognized that he would probably be one of the top picks in the 2016 NHL Draft. Number 6 Usually, after players complete their time at the NTDP, they either go to college to play some more hockey in the United States or major junior hockey in Canada, and Matthews was actually on track to go on the junior route with the Everett Washington Silvertips of the WHL. But instead, Matthews and his family decided on another direction, and that was for him to play professionally in Europe. Maybe he just had enough of America. Matthews played with the Zurich Lions in Switzerland. His coach there was a former NHL bench boss, none other than Mark Crawford, who had won the Stanley Cup as the coach of the Colorado Avalanche. And anyways, Matthews, at the age of 18, playing against grown men, had 22 goals and 24 assists for 46 points in 36 games. That doesn't sound that impressive, but remember, this is a league where it's not about goal scoring, it's about physicality. And this was actually a league record for players under 20 years old. And he was 18. Number 7. Matthews is considered one of the most fashionable and stylish players in the NHL. He has a wardrobe that shows off his own distinctive style. He picked up his eye for fashion while playing in Zurich. 
Matthews counts actor Leonardo DiCaprio and NBA star Russell Westbrook as his style influences. His first purchase as a professional athlete was a Rolex Submariner, and his favorite brands are Gucci, Off-White, Givenchy, and Louis Vuitton. He even has some favorite fragrances there too. St. Laurent and Tom Ford. Number 8. Matthews was the first overall pick of the 2016 NHL Draft. There was absolutely no suspense for it though. It had been pretty wildly known throughout the hockey economy for about a year that the 2016 NHL Draft would be the Matthews year. And the Winnipeg Jets took Patrick Laine with the second pick and the Columbus Blue Jackets selected Pierre-Luc Dubois. Laine is now with Columbus and Dubois is now with the LA Kings. But Laine and Dubois were actually traded for each other on January 23rd, 2021. Number 9. Matthews wasted absolutely no time in proving that he was worth all of the hype and being a number one pick by scoring four goals in his first NHL game. By the way, this is a record for the most goals in a game by a player in his NHL debut. That onslaught came against the Ottawa Senators and the goalie Craig Anderson, who isn't just a nobody. Number 10. Matthews won the Calder Trophy as the NHL Rookie of the Year that season as he led all rookies with 40 goals. Among all NHL players, that total was only beaten by Sidney Crosby who led the league with 44, and Matthews tied Nikita Kucherov of Tampa Bay for second place. Number 11. This is where I start to question why he became a hockey player of all things. Like sure it's the best sport in the world, but damn, like this guy had skill. Matthews is actually deeply involved in music and plays two instruments, the guitar and the drums in his spare time. And he isn't just a guy who likes to play some old songs, he actually played drums in a band that featured a few other Toronto Maple Leafs players. Number 12. We don't know if they have ever jammed together, but one of Matthews' closest friends is superstar singer Justin Bieber. JB, of course, is from Ontario and has always been a huge Toronto Maple Leafs fan. And when the pair were first becoming friends, Biebs would text Matthews about what he thought the team needed. Bieber was one of the celebrity captains at the NHL All-Star Weekend in February, and Matthews, along with teammates Mitch Marner and Morgan Riley, were also on the squad. Number 13. For much of Matthews' youth, there was a sport that he was actually better at than hockey, baseball. But Matthews actually loved hockey way more because of the constant movement of the game. His father said that there's too much standing around in baseball, which is true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fellas. It's, it's true. It's, he's not wrong. But when you consider the hand-eye coordination aspects of each sport that are required, it's absolutely no surprise that Matthews was a pretty good baseball player. Number 14. Speaking of baseball, that's actually the reason Matthews wears the number 34. As a youngster, his favorite baseball player of all time was Hall of Famer David Ortiz of the Red Sox. Ortiz wore number 34, and that's also where Matthews gets his nickname, Pappy, because David Ortiz was known as the Big Pappy. Number 15. Matthews was one of the first players to do and perfect a move on the ice that many players have copied. If you like Connor Bedard, you probably know what I mean. Just before he takes a snapshot or a wrister, he moves the stick blade and the puck slightly closer to his feet in order to change the angle and then shoots the puck. And this makes the shot tougher for opposing goalies to stop. Connor Bedard, who was the first overall pick in the 2023 draft, had an outstanding rookie season for the Chicago Blackhawks this year. He copied that move himself from watching Matthews on television when he was younger, and he now pulls off the move almost as good as Matthews. Number 16. Matthews was the first American born player to ever score 60 goals in a season, and he's done it twice. He had 60 during the 2021 season and 69 in the 2023 season, which was on purpose probably. He missed by one goal from being the first NHL player to score 70 goals in a season in over 30 years. Timu Solani and Alexander McGillney each had 76 in the 1992 year. Number 17. During Matthews' eight season career, his lowest goal total was 34 in 2017 because he only played 62 games due to injuries. This was also only his second season. Number 18. 
Matthews' 368 career goals is third in Toronto Maple Leafs history. I know, already, only Hall of Famers Matt Sudin and Daryl Sittler have more goals as a Maple Leaf, with 420 and 389 respectfully. Matthews just recently passed another Hall of Fame member. Dave Keon. Matthews' 649 points are now 6th all-time for Toronto. Number 19. Matthews is one of 14 active players who were born in California. After his birth in San Ramon, California, the Matthews family decided to move to Scottsdale, Arizona when he was an infant. A total of 56 players from California have played in the NHL in its history, and some of the current born players in the Golden State are the Dallas Stars' Jason Robertson, Jason Zucker of the Nashville Predators, Cam York of the Philadelphia Flyers, Chad Ruedel of the New York Rangers, Brendan Brisson of the Vegas Golden Knights, and goaltender Thatcher Demko of the Vancouver Canucks. Finally, number 20. Matthews is one of four current NHL hockey players who are born of Mexican heritage. His mother, Ima, was born in Hermosillo, Mexico. The other three are Max Pecioretty of the Washington Capitals, Alec Martinez of the Vegas Golden Knights, and Matt Nieto of the Pittsburgh Penguins. So there you have it. 20 things you probably didn't know about Austin Matthews. Which ones were you surprised the most about? If you like this video, you're probably going to want to watch the video on this screen. 20 things you didn't know about Brad Marchand. And if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow. And see you next time.